Hello, my name is Chris Shuffa. And I'm Nicholas Green. We are engineering students at the University of Connecticut, and our Engineering 1166 project is entitled Using Microneedle-Based Immunization to Administer the Influenza Vaccine. Our presentation was based on the AICHE paper, Microneedle-Based Immunization Against Influenza. The offers are listed below, and the link is also listed. Our presentation will begin by describing what the flu virus is and how the influenza vaccine works. It will continue by explaining the general drug delivery process and current drug delivery methods used. Finally, our presentation will explain how microneedle-based drug delivery works and the advantages to using this system. The influenza virus is a common cause of serious respiratory illness worldwide. During a typical season, 36,000 deaths and 200,000 hospitalizations are observed in the United States. And worldwide, 1.5 million deaths occur because of influenza each year. Vaccines do not pre prevent against infection. Rather, they reduce your chances of getting the disease, or, should you happen to get it, reduce the severity of the disease or your ability to transmit it. The picture at the right is of an avian influenza virus. The influenza vaccine is made using killed flu microorganisms. The flu microorganisms are usually killed using chemicals or heat. Or the vaccine is made from live attenuated microorganisms, meaning that the vi flu virus was grown in a lab, but its virulent properties have been disabled such as its ability to transfer genetic information. The flu vaccine is grown in the fertilized chicken egg, so if you have an egg allergy of any kind, you cannot receive the vaccine. Each year, the, the flu virus mutates at a very high rate, so last year's vaccine will not work. So, the vaccine is modified to fit the common mutations of the virus each year. And over to the right, you'll see a microscopic image of the influenza virus. Drug delivery is all related to the immune system. When a vaccine is injected into the body, it is seen as a foreign invader. This will cause the B cells to start producing antibodies to kill the vaccine. Once the vaccine has been killed, these B cells will die, but some of the B cells will remain, and they will become memory B cells. Meaning, that when the actual virus attacks the body, it will immediately recognize the virus and kill it. This is the principle behind vaccination. Without these memory B cells, vaccination would not be possible. Two methods are currently used by doctors worldwide to administer the flu vaccine. The first is a flu shot. The flu shot is an injection of killed flu microorganisms into the body. The second is a nasal spray, also known as flu mist. Flu mist consists of the same vaccine agents as a flu shot, but is inhaled through the nasal passages. These drug delivery methods utilize liposomes. Liposomes are tiny bubbles or vesicles made out of the same material as cell membranes. Liposomes can be filled with drugs, such as the flu vaccine, and can be used in drug delivery to deliver drugs for the flu and cancer. A diagram of a liposome is on the right. Microneedle-based drug delivery serves as a new way to facilitate and enhance the flu vaccination. This system uses a patch composed of dozens of microscopic needles or microneedles dip-coated with the influenza vaccine. This patch is covered with these microneedles and an ad adhesive material which will allow the patch to be stuck to one's skin. When applied, this patch and the microneedles will come in direct contact to the skin and the vaccine will be administered into one's body. A diagram of this patch is shown to the right. There are many advantages to using microneedles as compared to the flu shot and the flu mist. This microneedle patch will deliver the vaccine in a painless manner. Also, upper layers of skin where the patch is applied are rich with antigen. Due to this fact, delivering the vaccine through a patch to these areas is much more efficient than injecting the vaccine into the body. When the vaccine comes in contact to the upper layers of skin, this antigen rich area will fight off the vac virus and develop an immunity to the virus much more quickly than if the vaccine was injected into the body. Microneedle-based vaccines are stored in a solid state, which means 
They do not need to be refrigerated and stored at special temperatures. They can be stored on shelves in room temperature, make it, making it much less expensive to keep. Recent results and tests on mice show that it is easy to administer. A photomicrograph image of the microneedles is shown to the right. This is a list of the sources and the websites we used. Please feel free to look through them for any additional information. Thank you, and we hope you enjoyed our presentation.